Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, we're just going to wait a couple of more minutes and let the other students uh, come into the class. Okay. Just okay. wait a couple of more minutes. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. How are you doing today? How is everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I'm Thank fine. you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. It's Monday. How do you feel today? It's Monday. How do you feel today? Tired. I feel tired. Tired? Why? Why are you tired? Because I work too much work. today. Oh, a lot of work, a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's what I like. All right. Excellent. I hope that everybody had a very good weekend. I, yes, I hope that you feel good, that you're rested, and that you are motivated to start a new week. Um, so in the previous class, we were looking at uh, different sections referring to a vocabulary, we looked at sections one, two, three, and we also looked at the uh, midterm exam. So today, we're going to be looking at section number four. One second, section number four.
Okay, are you ready? So for today's class, we are going to be moving on to section number four, section four, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las cosas que las personas odian hacer. All right, listen, please. Listen to the video, please. People hate Can everybody hear? Let's get started. By uh, yes. Okay. One, stand in line. <clears throat> Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so in this activity, you are going to give me examples of activities you don't like to do. For example, you say, I have to wash the dishes. I have to wash the dishes. I hate it. I don't have to I don't have to cook. Okay, I want you to give me <clears throat> five examples. Five examples, and you are going to write the examples here in the discussion forum. You're going to write <clears throat> activities around the house activities around the house all right it's homework and then you're gonna i'm sorry it's homework uh, no you're going to work in pairs and you're going to do it right now section oh, one okay. 4.1 vocabulary you will you will work in pairs and you will have five minutes to do this activity. Do you have any questions at this moment? Does anybody have any questions at this moment? Do you, un do you understand the activity? Does everybody podría, understand? Teacher, podría dar dos ejemplos más, solo para dejarlo un poquito más claro. Yes. For example, Please. you can say, uh, you can say, I have to take out the trash. Tengo que sacar la basura. I hate it. <clears throat> o puede decir, tengo que planchar mi ropa. I have to iron my clothes. I hate it. I. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Teacher. Hi. Para decir café helado sería cold coffee. That is correct. Cold coffee. Yes. 
Okay, gracias. Thank you. Okay. Sí, Yeah. Después de la oración siempre vamos a decir I hate you, es opcional. Correcto, I hate it. Tiene que escribirlo porque está aquí en el ejemplo de las indicaciones. I hate it. Todas oh. estas son actividades que la gente odia. So you have to put I hate it. Ah, o sea, vamos a describe my activity. I hate you. Correct. No, I hate you. No, I hate it. I hate it. Or I so, hate them. Uh-huh. Thank you. Yeah. Another question? Somebody? No question. No teacher. All right. So we are going to work in pairs for this activity, and then you are going to give me some examples. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, let's go. ¿Cómo se dice planchar en inglés? Jairo. Uh, Jairo. Va, es que eso es lo que yo odio, planchar. <risa> no puedo hallar la plataforma. ¿Cómo se diría limpiar las ventanas? Clean of clean windows. O watch windows. Limpiar la ventana. Creo que sería clean porque watch sería clean, lavarle. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Y tendría que llevar de el, el, dice de window, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo uh -huh. el Iron y luego le pongo I hate it. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo iniciaba la estructura? I have. Después que iba. I, I, I have, have to. to. I hate I have to iron. I hate it. Oh, yeah. I have to iron. Okay. Gracias. 
Sería la hora. Hola, hola, hola. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Okay, uh, is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, more teacher. Time. Everybody needs more time? Todos necesitan más tiempo? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, uh, para los que van ingresando, uh, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Cuál era el tema que teníamos que poner? Eh, sí, en este momento estamos trabajando eh, la página, eh, la sección. Ya les voy a compartir eh, la, la imagen. Estamos trabajando la sección 4.1, Vocabulary, Top 8 Things People Have to Do. Ocho cosas que la gente tiene que hacer, pero no les gusta. Eh, por ejemplo... <coughs> Aquí dice el ejemplo, eh, I hate eh, stand in line, esperar en línea. I hate do the laundry, hacer la ropa, lavar la ropa. Travel to work, eh, traba, re, eh, manejar al trabajo o viajar al trabajo. Eh, go for meetings, estar en reuniones. Um, exercise, odian oh, hacer ejercicio. So, usted va es a escribir. Que, es que usted había puesto activities around, pero no lo terminé de copiar. Ah, ok. Era activities. I, bueno, solo póngale activities I hate. Activities I hate, para hacerlo más fácil. Activities I hate, actividades que odio. Excuse me, teacher. Hi. <laughs> What's the meaning of I don't have to do clean the house? I don't have to clean the house. Eh, no tengo que limpiar la casa. Ahí este, uh -huh. este Sería do... algo similar en los otros ejemplos que vamos a hacer. Correcto. Uh -huh. okay. O sea que se tendría que poner algo que tenemos que hacer y algo que no nos gusta. That is correct. Cosas que okay. tienen que hacer que no les gusta. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo hace, eh, hacer filas en el banco, lavar la ropa los fines de semana, las dos horas que se lleva de la casa al trabajo las mañanas, asistir reuniones a buena mañana, hacer ejercicio encima de todo eso, <laughs> work on the yard, right? all of these. Estos son ejemplos. Obviamente usted puede eh, elegir otros. No solamente tienen que ser esos. Any questions? ¿Qué sección es de la plataforma? Uh, this is section number... Let me see, share. Uh, section... Four, teacher. Four, four. Number 4.1, 4.1, vocabulary. Y lo vamos a escribir aquí en la discussion forum, right here. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Any, any questions? All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Ana Miriam, let's go. Veronica Menjivar. Esmeralda Carolina. 
Rosaura Menjibar, hello. Ana Miriam, let's go, let's go. Let's go, you have to go to your meeting, your private meeting. Rosaura, Veronica Menjibar. Ok, trabajen en trío ustedes, por favor. Hola. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Are you finished? Um, Hola. Cinco cosas que no nos gusta que hacemos, pero no nos gusta. Ajá. Sí, es el. Yo le estoy terminando. A mí me falta uno. Bueno, otro no me gusta. Casi todo me gusta. <ríe> Por eso me gusta. Pero no me gusta. A veces me gusta. Sacudí. ¿Cómo son Juan? ¿Tú? ¿Tú? Ah, Dios, teacher. Mm -hmm. En todo caso sería odio. Gating. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Get up. No. No. I hate it. Gating. Porque cuando usted dice get up, como que lo está hablando en tercera persona. Es decir, que se levante temprano. Yeah. Odio que se levante temprano. Pero cuando está hablando en primera persona, es I, I hate it. Getting up early. Okay. Odio levantarme temprano. Por ejemplo, quiero ver qué otra cosa sería. I hate it. Eh, no, ya no vamos. En serio, no me ha caído nada a mí. Ah, no, 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 no es eso. Quiere que inicie el video, pero es que me estorban las pantallitas a mí. No, de verdad. Inicia el video, no. quiero verla. Pero es que como está en el teléfono. Ah, no importa. Está... The house, I have to sleep. Hey, otra. Vamos a ver. Eh, yo podría poner la de barrer. <ríe> pero, pero entra en lo mismo de la, de la limpieza, ¿verdad? De la casa. Sí, eso sí. Sí. Barrer, trapear entre la misma limpieza de la casa. I have to. Do not 
my house. Mm -hmm. um, cuisine. <laughs> ah, bye. <laughs> I, I have to cook. To cook, uh, yes, dinner. Uh -huh. cook to dinner or Tengo que cocinar, sería ahí. I have to cook. I have to cook, sí. En especial alguna comida que no le guste, breakfast, o dinner, la cena. La cena, cena, sí, la cena. The, the dinner, right. I Entonces sería, to... I have... Cook. The dinner. To cook. The dinner. I have to cook. Y cook, S-O-O-K, ¿verdad? Yes, sí, yes. Yeah. But I have to cook the dinner or two dinner. I have to cook the dinner, la cena. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y después have... pone. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, yes. Yes. Ay, <laughs> yes. Dios mío, qué terrible. <laughs> estamos recordando las cosas. Que... <laughs> sí, Nos pero... estamos dando a conocer. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Three, four, five. Other example, otra cosa que voy a hacer. Mm. <laughs> eh, igual yo odio esperar lo que sea, pero esperar sí. Teacher, ya acabamos. All right, awesome. Y ya lo mandamos. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, let me have one volunteer and share your examples with the class. One volunteer. Okay, Luis Monzon, share your examples with the class, Luis. I hate it, drink or coffee. I hate. Okay, in este caso, no vamos a decir, I hate it, drink coffee. Va a decir, I hate drinking cold coffee. Ok. Y el lit, ¿en qué momento se utilizará? Eh, es como cuando decís lo odio. I hate it. El it, eso es como el lo. Lo odio. I hate it. Pero no puedes decir, I hate it, drinking cold coffee, porque el sujeto ya es drinking, el gerundio. So, no necesitas... Ajá. So, ahí sería, I hate drinking cold coffee. ¿Alguien más que me quiera dar un ejemplo? All right, José David. Very good. Luis, José David. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Give me uh, one example. In, in, my, in my case, I hate wash my car on Saturdays. Ah, okay. I hate washing my, my car. car on Saturdays. Excellent. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Jose David. The next one, please. Herson, give me an example. Okay. I have to drive in traffic. I hate it. Okay. I have to drive in traffic. I hate it. Ahí sí puedes usar el it, ¿ves? Porque decís, odio manejar en tráfico. Es la primera oración. 
La segunda, lo odio. I hate it. Ok. Eh, go ahead, eh, Carmen Lobos. Give me an example. Yes, teacher. I have to clean the windows. I hate it. Very good. I have to clean the windows. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, I hate it. Ask me your question. Uh, ¿Cómo podría decir que odio escuchar música, pero en volumen demasiado alto? Ah, I hate yes. listening to high to music in high volume. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes. Okay, hey, guys, yo sé que todos quieren participar, but we have to continue. Let's move forward. You can participate in the next activity. 4.2. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form a positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple usando verbos regulares. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. So we're going to be looking at simple past statements with regular verbs. Los verbos regulares son básicamente los que le pones el ed para el pasado. Por ejemplo, talk, pasado, talked. All right, walk, pasado, walked. Um, eh, digamos eh, work, work. work ah ok work worked All right. son los que son los que básicamente le ponemos el ed en el pasado el Let's... sonido de ed teacher. sería como te teacher that's right uh, it has three different pronunciations it and the three different pronunciations. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. 
study, studied, S T U D I E D, stay, stayed, S T A Y E D, shop, shopped, S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right-hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now for this activity, what well, we're going to I do first busy. is practice the conversation. Repeat, please. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? 
Did you Did have, you have, have a, good a good weekend? weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. And I felt a little tired today. And, and I, I feel a little, little tired today. Really? Why? Really? 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 Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did laundry. Did laundry. Did laundry. And shopped. And shopped. 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 And then I visited my parents. And, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? So, what, oh, what, what did you do, do on Sunday? Sunday? Sunday. I studied for the test all day. I, I studied, studied for the test all day. All, day. all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? Oh, oh no. no. We Did have, we a, have test? a test today? I didn't study. I didn't study. I, didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, do you have any questions related to the pronunciation or the meaning of this vocabulary? No, teacher. Nobody? Hi. What is the meaning roommate? Roommate is la persona con la que compartes una casa. Compañero de casa. Okay. Hi. I have a question. Yes. Uh, the, the correct pronunciation is I use. Um, what is the word? Uh, I use watch it. A television ah, or weekend? Just. I just, just watched television. I okay. just watched television. I just watched television. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another question? No. Uh, in the activity, um, ¿cuántos ejemplos vamos a hacer? ¿En cuál actividad? En esta. Eh, en esa, ajá, en la que está pidiendo ahorita. Ah, aquí solamente vamos a practicar la conversación. Michael and Jennifer. Speaking. Uh, speaking. Pronunciation. Ok. Ya, yeah, esta está en la sección número 4.3. Simple past statements with regular verbs. You are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's do it. Yeah.
Are you alone? Let me put somebody here with you. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. I'm going to put you on number one. Yeah, teacher. All right, uh, practice again. Okay. Um, Marilyn. Uh, let's start, okay. You are Michael, I'm Jennifer, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, let's start, okay? Yo, Michael. Yes, yes, you are Michael. Me, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I'm exercised and in the, in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean it, did laundry and shopped and then visit my part. So, what did you do on Sunday? I'm studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all the weekend. Okay. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Now, Gabriela, do you want... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Excuse, you might and Carlos. I exercise in the morning, being my roommate and I clean it, do laundry and shop it, and being I visit my parents. So what do you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have to test today? I didn't study, I just watched it on television on weekend. Sí, sí. Ahora empiezo yo. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have busy weekend and feel a little tired to die. Really? Why? Well, Saturday, an exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and cleaner did laundry and shop and visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for this, this all day. Oh no! Do we do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Yes. <laughs> yes. Usted ya, ya va por esta lección, por esta. Sí, sí yo lo ya Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. All right, Luis and Gabriela. Luis, you are Michael. Gabriela, you are Jennifer. You're Michael. No. Yes. Hi, Gabriela. Did you have a good weekend? Yes. 
wall. I can analyze the real tire. Riley. Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I clean it, the laundry and shoe, and then I visited my parents. All right, awesome, very good. Um, now let me have Marilyn and Jose. Marilyn, you are... Jennifer, Jose, you are Michael. Okay. Action. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Uh, Where? Uh -huh. Where? I had a, a, busy, a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I clean it, the laundry and shop it, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. All right. Perfect. Excellent. All right, guys. I know that um, everybody wants to participate, but we have to continue. Now, for this activity, what I want you to do is you are going to record yourself reading this conversation on Vocaroo. And then you're going to paste it here. That's going to be your homework. For the next activity, we're going to be looking at section 4.4, knowledge check. On the knowledge check, instructions change the verbs in parentheses to the past to complete the story. You don't need to type a period. It is already placed. For example, on Friday night, I mm, for a phone call, I waited. So the verb is waited. All right, here is a wait, simple present. You're gonna write it here in the simple past. Any questions? Any questions? No, no. Any questions? Nobody? No, Carlos, levantó la mano, Carlos. Yo, teacher. Hi. Yes. Eh, Hi. Solamente una pequeña pregunta acerca del de punto anterior. Uh -huh. eh, teníamos que eh, grabarnos en Bócaro con esa lectura y, y subir a la plataforma. Correct. That's it. Ah, ok. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. José David. José David. Yes, teacher. Do you have a question? Uh, no, teacher, but in this moment, no, thanks. All right, ready? Let's go, yes, guys. Thanks. Thank you.
Hi. Hi, Gerson. Hi, Pedro. Are you ready? Hello. Hello, Pedro. Are you ready? Hello. Hello yes. Yes. I'm finished. L I S T E D. No, la lista no está mala. T-shirt, help me. All right, all right. What's going on? Listen, um, ya le escribí y no me sale bien. Eh, ¿Qué cosa? Le escribo y me sale que está mala. L y en listen. We, talk, talk, no sé cómo se escribe. En listen. En la, ¿Qué dice listen? No ah. me sale. Ah, pues sáltela y va para la próxima. Ajá, ya, ya las hice todas, pero esas no sé por qué no me sale bien, si así debe ser. Ok, ya las vamos a ver. Ok, thank you. Yes. All right, let's look at the next one. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. Didn't call. Didn't Carmen Lobos. Call. I just stayed home and watched watched TV. Watch. On Saturday, I visit visited my friend visited, Frank. Visited, visited. We talked and listened to, to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked, cooked a great cooked, meal. Cooked. I teacher, the pronunciation cooked. cooked with tea. Cooked. 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 Okay. Without E. Without E, cooked. Okay. Without E. Good. Without E. That's right. Without E. I didn't uh, work. I didn't work didn't, very hard. Didn't study. Sunday. I didn't study. I, I didn't, didn't, didn't study. study. I just walked to the mall. I just walked Shop. to Shop. the mall and shop. 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 Perfect. Any questions? No question. No, no teacher. Somebody have no any teacher. questions about this activity? No teacher. Okay. No teacher. no teacher. All right. Excellent work. Easy, right? Let's go to the following one, 4.5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. Okay. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural Usen verbos regulares en pasado simple. Listen, please. Everyone, in this class, you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d. Clean. <laughs> Clean. Stayed. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and blurred sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers 
I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, Okay. Not here. I don't listen, teacher. Oh, you can hear me? Can you hear me now? Uh, you hear me now? Yes. Yes. yes, right now. Okay, so uh, what I said is that I want you to continue working on the prop platform. Don't stop. And we will continue tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good night. You too. Have a good night.